Okay, if you can turn that light off, then we'll leave. And you can do it when we're not in here. So can you do it now while we're standing here? Excellent. I once lived here. Here, we take only photos. We leave only footprints. And remember, leave no trace. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kay and today we are at, well I guess tonight, we are at Woodlawn Plantation in southern Tennessee. Uh, we're going to be doing a paranormal investigation. There's a whole team here. We just got a ritual done by a shaman slash medicine man uh, and I'm super excited to get into this plantation house and go over the history, get some interviews, and go through what's in this house. Let's go. On March 10th, 2023, I drove to LaGrange, Tennessee to meet with a paranormal investigation team called Blue Line Paranormal. At one time, the federal troops of the Civil War were housed here. Along with them, it was William Tecumseh Sherman. Before this place gets turned into a bed and breakfast, Blue Line Paranormal has been tasked with investigating who resides within these walls. I got to join them on this investigation and document their journey. And I had the opportunity to talk with some of those that are still in this house. Welcome to Woodlawn Plantation. All right, we're now inside the house. I'm gonna take you guys around to the different rooms of the house that we have been through so far. Everyone's getting set up for the evening and I wanted to do this before the sun went down so that we have a little bit of light to take a look at what everything looks like in the house before the sun sets. couple of deep breaths in and out for me relax the stake of yourself is a gate and you're just opening up I'm just driving up the driveway relax you're blocking me there you go I feel you okay three questions okay answer honestly they have to be honest answers and that was perfectly acceptable do you believe I'm here to do you harm no do you believe that I have every intention of helping you during this investigation? Yes. Okay, are you willing to come to me as your protection during this investigation? Yes. Okay, do exactly as I say. Close your eyes, palms out. I apologize for the smell. Deep breath in. Oh, you're easy. Yeah, you got nothing on you. Turn around for me, please. Deep breath in, deep breath in. Sorry. Exhale. Okay, turn around. Lower your hands, your arms. Okay, this is anointing one. So you can have a smell if you want. So the herbs that are infused in here have been used since biblical times. It's very potent. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in. I'm just going to lift your hat up a little bit. You feel something grab you because it's possible that you know when I say by grab something like this, you might yeah. feel a jerk. Feel your hair pulled. If you feel any of these things and it freaks you out, just come to me. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Let's do this. All right. We are in the upstairs bedroom, which seems to be one of the more active rooms. Um, 
Is there anybody in this room with us right now? Yes. Can you point to where you're standing? We're at the head of the pool table. Can you turn that light off for us again? No. How about touch that little ball and make it light up? Pretty colors. No. You don't, do you not want to talk to us? No. Okay, if you can turn that light off, then we'll leave. Okay. Can you turn it off? I mean, you can do it when we're not in here. So can you do it now while we're standing here? <laughs> Excellent. All right. Promise Thank is you. a promise. Thank you. We'll leave the, um, we'll leave the ball out here. Okay. Um, is there anyone in particular you want to talk to tonight? Are any of them in this room? Can you point to them? Okay, you're the one that would be our camera woman. Anybody else? Can you point to them? Obviously, because I'm the one with the rods, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to come back here. I'll let you talk to them, I promise. Heard something over here and then walked over here and it started yelling oh, yeah. at me. Oh, yeah. Look at well, that. I mean, I decided I wanted to talk to you guys. It's true. Well, I'm here now. If you want to say something, turn that light back on. Can you turn that light back on? Thank you. Oh. One more time. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. We are in the dungeon right now. Uh, let me show you around a little bit. This is the pool room. Uh, we have this little toy here that should light up like that. Um, whenever it wants to. Um, and then we've got one of these dudes. We have an EMF reader right here. Um, I'm not very familiar with the terminology or the equipment, just because I've only done one of these before. I did grow up watching Paranormal State and, you know, Ghost Adventures and all those things, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and then if we come over here, I'm going to turn my light on, ping pong table. And then uh, I guess one of the caretakers uh, that took care of this place um, was pushed over in this room and he said he would never come back in here. So there's that menacing, ominous curtain in the back here, which I feel if you have a curtain in your basement, it's like a spooky thing. <laughs> but yeah, let's go check out the uh, prison. So this is a wine cellar behind me. Um, it was used as a prison for some soldiers, I guess. Back in the day. I'm just gonna pop it open real quick and step inside. We also have the nice ambience of the door. If you want like a spooky door sound, we gotcha. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> so this is the, I guess I could turn the light on. Yeah, yeah that's brutal. Uh, but yeah, this is the wine cellar that was used as a uh, cell. Um, as you can see there's some rusted cell bars on this window that you could probably break out of now, but back then I'm sure these were sturdy as hell um, and covered in rust. But yeah, this is the downstairs area. We also have a temperature gauge right here, which is fascinating. So right now it's reading uh, about 62, 63 degrees in here. So yeah, this is the downstairs area. Heard something over here and then walked over here and it started yelling oh, yeah. at me. Oh, yeah. Look at oh, that. I mean, I decided I wanted to talk to you guys. So. It's true. Well, I'm here now. If you want to say something, turn that light back on. Can you turn that light back on? Thank you. Oh. One more time. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Look at that. Yeah. And nobody has walked through here or anything. Mm -hmm.
Oh, shit. And it hasn't been off. It's been sitting there. Yeah, it's for, been sitting there. It's been quiet all for night. For a while, yeah. yeah. Well, we, we kind of stirred things up here a second ago. Oh, God. Oh, right side's still hurting. Back away from it. Back away. Yeah. Look at that. That thing's grabbing a hold of it. He's pissed. That's that's a grab. Yep. Wow. I've never seen that REM pod do that. Mm -mm. Jeez. Listen to that. Wow. Sounds like a police siren. Yeah. It's getting more intense. The frequency's going higher. Where's that, where's that iron thermometer? What are you doing? It's draining it. Yeah, it's killing the battery, huh? It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. Holy shit. And you checked them batteries before you... That's a brand new battery. Yeah. That's brand new. It was sapping its energy. Damn. On purpose. Yeah. It was doing it on purpose. Yep. It's trying to get us to leave. Look at that. It's still lighting up. It's just dead. Oh, dude. Yeah. My head is, my head is bumping. My head is bumping right now. Now it's back to normal. Look. No. It's dead. That is completely dead. <laughs> 